The creature we're covering today has not one, but two jaws, which work just like the mouths of one terrifying creature in horror movie lore. Hello, my name is Jeff and I have just one question for you. What do you do if you are bitten by a moray eel? Answer, not much. For starters, moray eels are not snakes. They are fish and they're not venomous. But a bite could hurt and you would still need to be worried about infection. Also, people have been known to lose small digits like toes or fingers from these things. So be careful around them. Careful, so bite your fingers off. <laughs> And based on how big a moray eel can get, it's easy to believe. There are over 200 species of moray eel worldwide, but the biggest of them is the giant moray eel, which can grow to be a whopping 13 feet long, which can be twice as long as most other moray eels. Well, hello. That all aside, the coolest thing about these eels is their whore-like alien characteristics we're about to cover. So let's dive into the belly of the beast. Or I guess when it comes to these creatures, it would be easier to get pulled into the belly of the beast. Number one, breathing. Have you ever noticed the way a moray eel opens and closes its mouth when you're looking at it? Don't be mistaken into thinking that it's some threatening behavior. It's just breathing. Most fish species have bony gill covers on their sides, which they constantly open and close to force water over the internal gill chamber allowing them to breathe. Moray eels do not have these covers, so they have to use their mouths to orally pump water through the gills, located deep inside their mouth. Wow, that's really deep. So when you see them opening and shutting their mouth at you, it's not because they're trying to start a conversation. You wanna play rough? Say hello to my little friend! Number two, Jaws. Moray eels are serious predators, and their jaw structure reflects this. Not only do moray eels have razor-sharp teeth, which you can see, they also have double jaws and double sets of teeth. Just like a certain type of alien you might know, they have a hidden internal jaw called a pharyngeal jaw. When feeding, they use their outer jaws to firmly grip their prey. Once they have a tight hold, the pharyngeal jaw shoots forward and bites the victim and pulls it into the throat. You gotta wonder if a moray eel had something to do in designing a xenomorph. Number three, smell. Unlike many predators, moray eels have remarkably poor eyesight, so they rely largely on their incredible sense of smell when hunting. What? Have you ever noticed the two small appendages on a moray eel's nose? Those little tubes are its nostrils. Because moray eels rely heavily on smell, their food of choice is often weakened or dead, due to the fact it's easier to detect. Yummy. And this is why you have to be careful around these fish. There are some reports of divers feeding moray eels and having their fingers devoured in the process. This is all due to the moray's poor eyesight, as they cannot see where the food finishes and the fingers begin. You really do make the best finger food. Number four, makeup. Green moray eels are actually rarely green. They are usually brown, but because they secrete a layer of toxic mucus over their skin, which has a yellow hue, it makes them appear green. Not only is this mucus membrane toxic to other fish that may want to eat them, and it also provides a type of camouflage, but it also allows them to move fast and freely around the reef, with less chance of sustaining injury when swimming through sharp objects on the sea floor. Number five, teeth. As we have established, moray eels are a type of fish with very sharp teeth. However, there is a variety of moray eel that has blunt teeth. What's she doing that with her face? This species is known as the zebra moray eel. The zebra moray eel is the only variety that has dull teeth. Blunt teeth are essential since their diet consists primarily of crabs, clams, mollusks, and sea urchins, which all require solid jaws and specialized grinding teeth to eat. If you happen to ever see one of these zebra up close, take a gander and you'll be amazed at how flat these teeth really are. Number six, car wash. 
Moray eels are known for carrying a large amount of parasites on their skin. So, one of their best friends are cleaner shrimp. To get clean, moray eels treat the situation like a car getting a car wash. They will search out a cleaning station, or place where cleaner shrimp accumulate. They'll pull over and stop in one spot, and wait for the shrimp to come and clean them off. And the best part about all this is that this is a mutualistic relationship. The moray eel gets rid of their parasites, and the cleaner shrimp get a nice, easy meal. Ocean! Ooh, la mer. Bon. Voila, he is clean. Now, we said that you shouldn't let a moray eel bite you, but you also don't want to bite a moray eel. Certain species are among the most toxic creatures in the ocean. For example, humans who consume moray eels can suffer from acute toxicity, leading to severe illness or even death. It is vital to be aware of the potential dangers of consuming moray eels and avoid eating them whenever possible. I know it's not on my menu, but who knows, maybe you like to walk on the wild side. I also like to live dangerously. Would you eat eel if it was offered to you? Let us know in the comments below. If you're new, hit subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes. If you like the episode, smash that like button. As always, and I mean it every time I say it, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you all next time.